Hey, welcome back. Just quickly before I get into what I've been working on, some exciting news. In just two weeks, this channel has already hit 50 subscribers. I feel so fortunate and encouraged to keep going forward. I view these devlogs as not only a way for me to share what I'm doing, but also to interact with others that are doing the same thing, get some feedback, and reflect on what I'm working on. So let's get to it. I began my next work session by starting over. Yeah, I seem to be doing that a lot. I realized it was a far better decision to start with a third person template that Unreal already had, rather than start from scratch. This is a blueprint. Blueprints are Unreal Engine's visual scripting. Basically, it allows me to code the game without actually writing lines of code. Opening up the existing character blueprint, I deleted jumping, I reduced the maximum walk speed down to 150, and ticked the box that allows the character to crouch. What I learned from my first character blueprint was not wasted. I was able to copy the crouching and sprinting mechanics into this blueprint. Now the base character will walk, will sprint if you hold down shift, and will crouch or uncrouch when you press C. While the base character comes with animations for walking and running, I still need to find animations for crouching and anything else I want him to do. So I took a look at my game's budget. Fortunately, as I mentioned in my first video, there are a lot of free resources to help get you started. So I went over to Mixamo.com, a fantastic website run by Adobe. It has both free character models and animations. I grabbed a few animations just to test them out. Some crouching to stand, standing to crouch, and walking while crouching. My first hurdle with these animations is that they don't automatically work with the newest Unreal mannequins or the metahumans. And since my plan is to use the metahumans in the final game, I need to find a way to retarget the bones from these models to the current models. And while there is a plugin in the marketplace that would help me do this, once again I have to look at my budget and figure out a way to do it for free. Through the power of the internet, I made it through the IK retargeting, thanks to this guy. I won't try to butcher his name. With the crouching animations imported, a quick trip through the animation blueprint, and some blend spaces, and I should be good to go. Oh no. The animations played fine in the preview, but as soon as I hit play, his legs break. I tried re-importing the animations, double checking all the bones in the retarget, checking and unchecking different settings that I wasn't even sure what they did. Finally, after over an hour of scouring the internet, I came across this forum post. It was here, in the control rig inside the animation blueprint. A little setting in step 5, changing the root to animation root. And Eureka, no more broken legs. I'm not sure I love the crouch animation, and might replace it. But since my game's going to be first person anyway, it might not matter. Now that the character has the most basics of movement, I think it's time to relearn how to open a door. But that will be a task for the next devlog. The Silver Key was written by H.P. Lovecraft in 1926. In it, the main character, Randolph Carter, begins to lose the fantastic dreams that he had as a boy. One night, he's visited in a dream by his deceased grandfather, who tells him about a silver key in the attic. And upon waking, he goes to look for it. An old servant forced the carven lid shaking as he did so at the hideous faces leering from the blackened wood and at some unplaced familiarity. Inside, wrapped in a discolored parchment, was a huge key of tarnished silver covered with cryptical arabesques, but of any legible explanation there was none. The parchment was voluminous and held only the strange hieroglyphs of an unknown tongue written with an antique reed. 
Carter then disappears. The key has allowed him to travel through time back to his 10-year-old self. In my game, I will be taking the concept of the silver key to allow the protagonist to enter the bodies of people in the past in search of valuable relics. As the player progresses through the game, they will soon find out that such eldritch artifacts are not meant to be taken lightly. And that concludes another devlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.